Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to evening prayer. Well, I was, my back was hurting, so I laid down for a little bit. I fell asleep. I just woke up. I didn't even realize I fell asleep. Didn't even realize I was tired. But, it's been like that here lately. It's probably like the last four or five days. Really been, all of a sudden it just hits me like a ton of bricks. Really tired all of a sudden. And I try not to lay down and go to sleep, so I sleep good at night, but weird. Anyway, um, I had actually, had actually had, excuse me, actually had one name. It was Foxy um, to lift up. Um, I don't have my notebook with me. Uh, actually, I think I'm, I misplaced it somewhere. Usually I have it here with me. Um, so we're going to lift it up as an unspoken prayer tonight. Um, and we're going to pray in Ephesians 4, uh, starting in verse 17. And it's a, it's the whole concept of these particular scriptures are about being aware, uh, opening your eyes to see what's going on around you. Um, I watched somebody's video today, and it was a message sent to me by someone else who isn't sub to me. Um, they were trying to get a hold of a particular person and I'm listening to this person's video I made it halfway through and then I turn it off they were so angry and so frustrated and they claim Jesus Christ and he sounded like he truly believes but he's so angry and so frustrated and so condemning directed all directed at this one person and uh what really struck me, and that it would be different if it was something that had just happened, but what struck me was that this person said that this happened a year ago. And I was like, you're holding on to this this long? That's amazing. How could you be holding on to that that long? Um, and I was kind of struck. I was like, wow. And it was really kind of an inconsequential issue um, because the person you know, could have gotten help that they were looking for anywhere else but it was all because this person didn't send them money and I thought wow you know you're you're talking about being a Christian and forgiving but then there's no forgiveness in your video and I see that in a lot of people's videos I see that in, in a lot of you know even people who get kind of bent out of shape on their videos like I do um, but there's no forgiveness of the issue I don't hold any grudges against anybody, and I don't want to hold any grudges against anybody. I've had people before that have commented something, come back later and said, hey, no, please forgive me, I, I commented incorrectly. I said, there's nothing to forgive. I don't hold any grudges. There's nothing to forgive because I don't want that burden on my heart because I see what it does. And like that guy's video, he was so angry and so, you know, directing it directly on one person, but it seemed like it was directing he was directing all his life's problems because of this one person on a, something that happened a year ago. And it just doesn't make sense. And uh, a lot of people are like that. A lot of people have gotten caught up about things of the world and have forgotten about the things that are spiritual. You know, it doesn't matter if we have food laid up because of the coronavirus. You know, my H-E-B here, there's still lines outside the, outside the door. And people are supposed to be staying home. It can't be that many people still trying to get normal everyday groceries. They should have been able to get everything by now. Because there's more than just one store here. There's stores everywhere. But yet it's still all the way around to the movie theater. You know, like a quarter mile long. Um, I don't know. I don't get it. People are so focused on this life. And they're forgetting the Lord that they say they follow. I just hope they're saved. I just hope that they're trusting in him. And you know, you, you want to reach out to him, but you don't know what to say. You want to try to give him a encouraging word, but you don't know what what to say or how to deliver it. Because so many people are so frustrated and so angry. And they're still fighting. I mean, there was fighting reports today uh, here in our town at the store over little things. And I just don't get it. I just don't get it. I mean, I mean, I do, but there's no love. <laughs> there's no love left.
But it is what it is. You know, that we're going to have this kind of stuff. So we do the best we can with what we got. And we're human. We're going to react a certain way to certain things. It's normal to do that. Fear, being scared, being angry. It's all normal human things. We can't fully control it all the time. But generally, we should be able to control it. But I don't see that in a lot of people. And that, that's bothersome. That's why countries fall apart, because people don't work together to help them, help each other. So, we're going to go to Ephesians 4, starting in verse 17. And it's got a several interesting uh, verses here that speak about the condition of the heart now, and the condition of the eyes, and, and where we should be looking and what we should be focused on. And I thought that was good, appropriate scripture for this particular time. Let's get into some prayer. Lord Jesus, we come before you this evening and give thanks in your name to our Holy Father for the incredible blessings he's poured out upon us, for sending you to die for our sins on that cross to give us an opportunity to stand before you in heaven. Lord Jesus, help us to meet the standard you've set of faith. Help us to trust in you just like we say we do. Help us to put away the things that are of the flesh. Put away the things in this life and lean and look towards the spiritual things. Open our eyes that we may see. Open our ears that we may hear. Open our minds that we may comprehend. And open our hearts that we may understand. Open the eyes of our hearts that we may understand the word that we read, what's going on around us, uh, the proper way to react to things, to be like we say we are. Now, we can't be perfect because we're still in the flesh, but help us to subject the flesh and keep it under control and to act from a spiritual standpoint and to show love towards others, even in these hard times. To spread the gospel to others. To be kind to others. Just like these scriptures that we're going to pray. Lord, we praise you and we honor you. And glorify you. We praise you for your love and your kindness. For calling us to this calling. We honor you because of the work that you did on the cross. Because of the amazing world changing gift you have provided. And we glorify you because you are our Lord. You are our God. And you are amazing and you are incredible. And we would not have what we have without you. We wouldn't be where we are without you. And I'm still in awe. At, in awe at everything you are doing. And the, the things that you're making us aware of. The, the little details you're pointing out to us that are speaking to us so vibrantly. is incredible. We love you, Lord. We really look forward to standing in your presence. Help us to just be calm and to rest and to look at you. To be in the Spirit and just stand and put our trust in you. To not worry about the fear, not worry about the troubles, just trust in you. And to be at peace. And to be filled with that holy love, filled with it that we can share with others. And for me personally, Lord, I ask that you help me not to be frustrated so much and not to be aggravated. Today was one of those days, and it's hard. But that way I can respond to people accordingly and properly and give them scripture. I ask this in your name, Lord. I pray for uh, Foxia's prayer request. Foxy, not Foxia. Her prayer request to, to lift her up and lift her prayer request up for you to answer, Lord. Put your hand on that situation. And everyone who has an unspoken request, put your hand on their situation. Put your perfect work in their lives to answer their prayers and to deal with it in your perfect way. We don't know what the right way is. And I pray that you use the perfect way to deal with these things. Lord, we have some scriptures to pray out of Ephesians 4, starting in verse 17. And Lord, I pray these scriptures reach people. I pray these scriptures enlighten people, and I pray they edify the brethren. This I say, therefore, and testify in the Lord, that you should no longer walk as the rest of the Gentiles walk, in the futility of their mind, 
having their understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God because of the ignorance that is in them, because of the blindness of their heart, who, being past feeling, have given themselves over to lewdness to work all uncleanness with greediness. But you have not so learned Christ, if indeed you have learned him and have been taught by him, as the truth is in Jesus, that you put off concerning your former conduct the old man which grows corrupt according to the deceitful lusts, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and that you put on the new man which was created according to God in true righteousness and holiness. Therefore, put away lying. Let each one of you speak truth with his neighbor, for we are members of one another. Be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your wrath, nor give place to the devil. Let him who stole steal no longer, but rather let him labor, working with his hands what is good, that he may have something to give him who has need. Let no corrupt word proceed out of your mouth, but what is good for necessary edification, that it may impart grace to the hearers. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, by whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. Let all bitterness, wrath, anger, clamor, and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice, and be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as God in Christ forgave you. Lord, I pray that we take these to heart and apply these in our personal lives, especially myself, that we look to others with loving kindness and we address others with loving kindness. And sometimes we have to make a sharp response, but you know, that's, appropriate, that's appropriate for individual situations. But, but help us discern which one is the appropriate one. And Lord, in these final moments we have going on here, help us to stand strong and stand in faith. Stand true in faith. Stand true in you. That we may be lights to the world around us. It is in your name, Lord Jesus Christ, that I pray. Amen. Thank you guys for joining me for evening prayer. So there's a lot of good stuff right here in these few verses. And it is a simple explanation of what we are to be. What these particular things do is show the world who we are and who we serve. Because these are qualities of the Lord. And we can't be perfect. Of course we can't be perfect. But that's what we have Jesus Christ for. Because he overshadows the imperfections. And if we make the effort, he brings us full circle. The day of redemption hasn't happened yet. On that day when we are redeemed, we are fully changed. Out of this corruptible flesh into incorruptible flesh. And that will be amazing. And that will be incredible. And we won't have to we won't have sin anymore. We won't have corruption anymore. We won't have temptation anymore. And that'll be an amazing, amazing day. And it's coming. It's coming. All we gotta do is just hang on and trust him. And everything else will be fine. I love you guys very much. I'm sorry for being angry today and frustrated. You know, sometimes I can't help it, it comes out. But it's so easy to be that way because of the how people are. And I want to tell it like it is because I want to be as real as possible. And I want to be honest and, and tell you guys honestly how I feel about certain things. Because I'm human and that makes me more relatable. I don't want to end up, you know, saying, well, you can't do this and you can't do that and be aloof, you know, like, like I'm different than you. I'm just the same kind of person you guys are. We're all the same together. So I try to be as real as I can. I try to show you guys the, the real me every chance I get. Sometimes I keep certain things held in, emotion. But that's, you know, because I want to get through the content. And that's not the appropriate time to show emotion. But most of the time you get the real me. And because um, I, I think that's important to show the real you. To show people that you're, you're human. And you're frail and you can be broken too. I bless you all in Jesus' name. I will see you guys in the next video.